All right, so I'm on like, I don't even know, day three or something of this project. Trying to make the controllers work that they sent me. So what I've done is um, modified the notch um, that the strut sits into and cut that. And then I've got some washers to space that over um, to keep the strut forward away from the CV axle. I'm hoping that that gives me the clearance I need so that uh, we can get this thing back on the road. Um, went through a whole lot of Sawzall blades. Uh, eight lug George there gave me the, uh, the tip on the Diablo Sawzall blades. And I heard yesterday that Diablo carbide tipped is actually what I should have bought. The regular Diablo blades did good lubricating them and, um, I bought the ones intended for heavy metal, um, and I also tried uh, some of the next step down. Um, but yeah, I only went through four blades on this side to get through the four spots that I had to cut, so um, instead of eight. So these definitely held up better than the Milwaukee or the DeWalt blades, just uh, FYI. So anyway. I'm going to keep plugging away, see if I can get this arm in here with the new hardware. Um, I need to get the lower ball joint um, tie bar off of the old arm and swapped over. And uh, we'll bolt it all up. Hopefully we got the clearance we need. All right, so um, you see the clamp on the CV axle. So that was actually hitting. I flattened it out so it... It just, I mean, it just grazes it. It's touching paint, but it isn't actually like slowing down the spin of the axle, which it was before. I've had to push the boot out and, you know, and then notched all that, but everything I can do to try and keep that boot from rubbing against that strut base so that hopefully I won't be tearing CV boots out. Again, this is temporary, um, you know, just till we get to put the big axles under it. So, but for right now, I think it's gonna work. Um, we are uh, gonna get this thing bolted together and uh, get it down to the alignment shop. We got an appointment tomorrow after work. Get this bad boy aligned and uh, hopefully we can get her driving decent. And we're gonna head on down to Silver Lake Sand Dunes this coming Friday with our buddy Dustin and uh, the DO there and hopefully have a good time. So at ride height, it looks like we got plenty of clearance. So, and mission accomplished. The tire actually sits vertical now. It's not angled. Since I'm able to adjust that camber caster, can't wait to get this thing aligned tomorrow and see how she drives.